Days of lavender and lace, poke bonnets and crinolines, yes, and romance. An atmosphere of peace, disturbed only by the fluttering hearts of lovelorn maidens, so let those crinoline days cast their spell again in song. There's a lovely picture of the days gone by. Someone in a dainty gown who was sweet and shy. Little Miss Crinoline, small and neat, you are so charming and so sweet. In the dainty gown you wore in the long ago. Little Miss Crinoline, as the dance, did the music bring romance, tripping round the ballroom floor in the long ago. How they must have loved you so, kissed your dainty hand. I imagine every bow at your sweet command. Little Miss Crinoline, sweet and shy, do the memories cause a sigh. Memories of the days gone by in the long ago. I mind I'm telling you, the crinoline has played a great part in history. And all you bonnie lassies sitting down there, here's something you don't know. A man once wore a crinoline. Aye, it's true. Away up in Scotland some hundreds of years ago, Flora MacDonald lent Bonnie Prince Charlie her crinoline gown to his keeping. Well, she never got it back. <laughs> that was Flora MacDonald's lament. You see, in those days, every girl wore a crinoline gown. And a bonnier sight you couldn't wish to see. Of course, me being a man, I, I, I don't know very much about these things, but one thing I do know, the crinoline certainly makes a girl look very sweet indeed. And so today, the loveliest sight of all is our bonny, bonny Scottish queen when she captivated gay Paris in her dainty crinoline. How they must have loved you so, kissed your dainty hand. I imagine every bow at your sweet command. Little Miss Crinoline, sweet and shy, do the memories for the fire. Memories. 